Is CM Punk trolling the wrestling fans after what he did at AEW Collision after it went off the air as he went and started calling out Hangman Page and pretty much dissing him? Is he trolling the fan as far as his real life view with the elite? Also, we're going to be talking about Roman Reigns. When would he defend the title again? Uh, we know he defended it for five, didn't defend it for five months. So we're going to be talking a little about that. That and much more on the Chokeslam Wrestling Report. Welcome to another episode of the Choke Slam Wrestling Report. I'm your host, the infamous Ultimate One from New York City, and coming back from vacation, and I am jumping on this video. Talk about what I saw on AEW Collision, or the video that was pretty much uh, being viral on Twitter and other social media of Mr. CM Punk again calling out Hangman Page. Because they were in Hangman's country, supposedly. I, I, I think they were in South Carolina. I wasn't sure. But all this started was because supposedly he, uh, you know, saw a sign of a fan out in the crowd. And he decided to go and pretty much call out Hangman Page. Now, my thing is, is he trolling the fans? He knows that this is still the talk of the town, we could really say it that way, of him and the elite. It's going to be, it's been a year since this started. A year ago, when this whole, you know, the, 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 the brawl and the scrum, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, it, it's going to be a year at the ending of this month where it happened at All Out between the elite and CM Punk. And then people are still talking about it a year later. But this time, it was brought up by CM Punk. And the way I look at it, CM Punk, I think he's playing the fans. He is. This guy, no way in the world that, you know, Mr. Uh, Tony Khan is telling him, yeah, I'm good with you doing that and or taking liberty to do this. And pretty much the Kenny Omega um, promo he did a couple of weeks ago at Dynamite where he said, you never know, we'll show up at Collision. Is this a setup where we could see the, you know, the CM Punk FTR uh, alliance against the elite, Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks? They're already setting up the match between the Young Bucks and FTR for All In and whatnot. But again, let me go back to what CM Punk said in this promo. He said, Carolina is hangman country, referring to the sign he saw in the crowd. He said, earlier today, I went to a local supermarket and I figured out why they call him Hangman. It's because the pegs in the toy aisles are full of Hangman action figures because nobody wants to buy them. He's a peg warmer, unlike me, who most merchandise, pop ratings, sell toys. You got everybody in AEW saying, I am the heart and I'm the soul, I'm the spirit. Well, what's the objective? What's the fact is the people who say certainly are in the chin of AEW because the lights go off faster than what gts go to sleep i don't know what i'm trying to do i got rocked too i told house of black not no chops and they chopped me so i'm very mad again the man calling out hangman pace again so to me i think this is there's no way in the world that warner brothers is going to sit there give these people gave gave them a third show and they're going to let this man start some type of, I don't know, some controversy without them knowing that it's going to go viral. Somebody's going to record it and it's going to go viral. And that's what happened. Okay. And to me, I think he's trolling the fans. There is no way in the world that he went and did this and Tony Khan did not know he was going to do it. He said, I mean, sometimes 
you know, CM Punk does what CM Punk wants, you know, and now him complaining about the House of Black not chopping him. Uh, House of Black is going to do whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he's mad. Well, guess what? You don't have a lot of friends in the back of the locker room. You know what I'm saying? And this is why, supposedly, this locker room is divided because of you. You know what I'm saying? But then again, is he playing to the crowd? Is he playing the 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 marks? Those people who love the minute they see something, they'll go to 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 um to Twitter or to you know to social media, Instagram or whatever, uh, to just to to show. Oh, look, this guy did this because this, that's what happened this past Friday, which I'm going to be talking about in my conversation about Roman Reigns. That's exactly what happened Friday when Jay Uso said he was quitting WWE. And you know how fast these AEW graphics with Jay Uso on it were all over social media. CM Punk knows what he's doing. Now, as much as I'm not too happy with this man, though, with the whole nonsense, and I think he gave AEW a black eye with the nonsense with him and the elite. I mean, it would be stupid if he doesn't say to himself, well, this is business. If I could get um, if I could get the uh, hangman page in the ring and, you know, something happens and then you get the elite involved and you got FTR involved already FTR and it got the FTR and the young bucks already involved in a match, the trilogy. So who knows? I mean, I want to see what happens with this all in and see if there's some type of cheating or, or, or an attack afterwards after the match or FTR turns cheats if we see that we are seeing the seeds being planted for the match between ftr cm punk versus the elite that i think that should have happened already in all in but that's not the that's not the case you know what i'm saying kenny omega is not even in all in which surprises me but he'll be in all out the week after so i don't know what's going on i don't know why Omega is not even wrestling, you know, and in, in, in this, um, you know, and this uh, all in, don't know why he was in the first all in when he went against the Penta and why not. So, you know, but um, that's something uh, for, for us to ask. Is CM Punk really trolling the fans? I think he is. Uh, otherwise, he would have not done that. Um, again, you know, he he knows how to rile up a crowd. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Let's move along with the WWE Roman Reigns and the ending of SummerSlam. We saw Roman Reigns coming out victorious, due for Jimmy turning on Jay. But the the answer that Jimmy gave at SmackDown this past Friday was lame as hell. Now my question is, why did they do this? Make it looks so lame and there were reports coming in last week where they said that roman reigns was injured in his match with jay something with the with his ribs or something like that and then reports came in that he was in florida and a beach with family whatever so my thing was okay so now he defeated jay now we got uh jimmy who turned on jay what's that's gonna happen so my thing is I said to myself, so now we're adding another story where now we're going to have to sit back and wait to Roman defend his belt another five months. Now, I know you guys are going to be like, wait a minute, why it got to be another five months? Well, that's how long it took him to defend the belt since WrestleMania. Five months without him defending the belt. And I don't want to hear, oh, he would go to house shows. He did not defend the belt in no house show. Okay, there was a list that was going around on social media of all his title defenses. And now WWE wants to make him like this dominant world champion. He's a thousand day world champion again. And I'm going to keep saying this over and over again for you WWE fans who are not educated when it comes to the history of WWE. I know that a lot of you guys are in your 25 to 44, and maybe you're wearing around during my era when I was watching the Bruno San Martinos, the Bob Backlands, and the, you know, the Hulk Hogan's and the Pedro Morales. 
I understand you guys are going to be like, well, no, he's the world champion because, you know, he's the universal champion, whatever. That's the universal champion. Listen to what I'm saying. That's a WWE universal championship. Not a WWE slash WWF, okay, world champion. As you notice this week also, which I, I noticed also, they are not carrying those belts anymore. They're just carrying that one belt. The Undisputed Universal World Champion or Universal Champion, whatever you want to call it, okay? They're not carrying those belts anymore. I noticed that. Also, what I noticed is that WWE has their fan base thinking that Roman Reigns passed Hulk Hogan post-WrestleMania era, which means they're trying to say that WrestleMania 1 never happened. WrestleMania 1 never happened. Since the time Roman Reigns came from that WrestleMania uh, all the way to back in the 80s, that was WrestleMania's never happened. WWE, that what I noticed, have been trying to erase history. They have 60-something year history. They're trying to erase it because they are so obsessed with having Roman Reigns as the main world champion, the guy who surpassed everybody. Again, I'm going to bring this up. The WWE title is the title that those guys like Bruno San Martino, who held that belt twice, and those and between those two title reigns are 11 years. Okay? Then you got Hulk Hogan. Then you got Bob Backlund. Those are the top three guys there. Okay? They have them passing Pedro Morales. No, it's no way in the world. He has a universal championship. The universal title came into existence in 2016. Okay? And for you guys who are in the 25 to 44, I'm sure you remember when Finn Balor was the inaugural world champion for one day because Seth Rollins got him hurt. Okay? So here we are. You try to make this man, he is the most, the greatest champion in the world, but yet I counted how many title defenses he has had since he's been universal champion for a thousand plus days. 29. Okay, someone explain to me why this man has only defended the belt 29 times in three years. Okay. He comes out in every SmackDown. He comes out sometime in Raw. Why he doesn't defend the belt? Actually, to be honest, Seth, I give Seth Rollins more respect than Roman Reigns because Seth Rollins has held the World Championship, World Heavyweight Championship for probably two months, three months, and he has defended the belt more than at least three or four times. Okay, so the man got already four title title defenses, and yet people still saying that Roman Reigns is the greatest of all time. It's a joke, and the fact that it's bloodline storyline, then now this is gonna drag on even more further because Vince McMahon doesn't want to end it, and the and the rumor is they're gonna have Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso going at it at WrestleMania. And now, so, we understand that the story for Cody, who's in Raw, is supposed to end with Roman at WrestleMania. I want to know how they're going to do this. You know what I'm saying? How are they going to do this? Is Cody Rhodes going to win the damn Battle Royal again? Because if that's the case, then he's might going to have to come out at number one next year. If that's the case. And then, but, but see, my question is, from here to the Rumble, who is... Uh, Roman defending the bell against is he gonna be? That's that's four months. That's four months. So when is he gonna defend that bell again? And and with who? Who is gonna defend the bell? You know what I'm saying? He they already been in Saudi Arabia. I think they're going back in October. I'm not sure. So is he gonna defend the bell with someone there? Who is gonna defend the bell against? Okay. So there's a lot of problem with WWE that I see there that is just ridiculous. And and and. I don't know how people could sit there and just watch what's going on with, with, with this Roman Reigns situation. Like, you're, they, they put him in a high pedestal with the guys on the defender belt 29 times in three years. And may, a lot of people may hate, may get mad at me. I mean, I may lose subscribers for this, but let's be realistic. Roman Reigns is not the greatest WWE world champion that ever held that belt. He's not. He's not. And I'm saying this because, like I said, I know I've been in and in, in, in watching this product 
for close to 40 something years. And I've seen every, every, every world champion that has come through WWE that held that belt. And I mean, I cannot. I mean, we had a great world champion. We had the Ric Flair, Bret Hart. Hulk Hogan held the belt for almost four years. You know, uh, uh, again, I saw Bob Backlund in his heydays in the 70s, Bruno San Martino, Superstar Billy Graham, even an attitude era. You got Stone Cold Steve Austin, you had The Rock, Triple H. You cannot compare Roman Reigns with those guys because Roman doesn't have the skills, the wrestling ability, like the Triple H, The Rock, or Stone Cold Steve Austin. And yet, WWE wants you to believe that he is the greatest of all time. The, not the, the greatest of all time. Which is not fair. It's not fair. Because the man has defended the belt only 29 times. And now we got to weigh around because this, he's, there's no direction to him now. He's still, they still stuck with this storyline, with the bloodline storyline. They have watered it down when you got people who want already for this shit to end. Okay? I want it to end. Okay? Because at the end of the day, you know, WWE loves teasing. I mean, they're doing it with Judgment Day. One minute they're going against Finn Balor. It looks like Priest and Finn Balor are about to go at it, and then they get back. Now they, there's another guy, Jonathan, whatever his name is, that hangs out with Finn Balor right, right now. He might be part of that. They might, Finn Balor might get kicked out. But that's all right, because it leaves cliffhangers. This, with the bloodline now, you know this makes no sense. It makes no sense because now you're going to have Jimmy and Jay probably going at it at WrestleMania. What is Roman doing from here to Rose at WrestleMania? Who is he going to be feeding from here to WrestleMania? It makes no sense. And again, if they're going to make Roman lose this belt, it has to be to Cody. So otherwise, what's the point of Cody coming into to WWE? And Cody's becoming, to me, honestly, boring. He's doing the same thing he was doing in AEW. The boringness okay he's they got him in wrestling matches that don't make no sense to me and it's just nonsense that's the way i look at it so well that is it for me today it was very short again i, I promise i will be coming back after my vacation to do a video so here i am and those are my two topics of the day uh again guys uh if you want to follow me follow me down um in instagram facebook and the X, I guess, because it's not called no more Twitter. Also, check out my merchandise, tcwrveryinkpressive.com. That's tcwr.veryinkpressive.com. So, also, this is going to be an audio podcast format. You could check it out on either Apple, Spotify, Aha Radio, Amazon Music, or any audio podcast platform that you guys like to listen to your favorite shows. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Again, you can also find me on TikTok with my little short stories. You can check it out, the Chokeslam Wrestling Report. So um, you can find me everywhere. Again, um, also check me out on my YouTube channel. Check out the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell for new uploads. Hit that thumbs up, guys. Hit that thumbs up. That will really, really help me on my channel. And, you know, and you know, I'm up to 270 subscribers. I'm trying to target for 300 that is my target 300 uh, and i want to do it before the end of the year uh so support the podcast for those who have supported my podcast i really appreciate it uh, again keep supporting and i will appreciate it. until then guys uh i will see you this weekend coming up with more um uh, information more stories on pro wrestling world until then guys peace out mm-hmm.